I saw this lovely cup from Unsplash.com and wanted to try Blender's stencil feature. Let's quickly model the cup first using screw modifier. I'm gonna add a single vert and move it to the right. Extrude to shape the profile. When you're done add a screw modifier, press Ctrl 2 for a subsurf, then tweak the position of the vertices in edit mode. Flip normals and apply the screw modifier. Fill the bottom and inset. Let's give the cup some thickness by adding a solidify modifier. Add a supporting loop cut at the top and move the solidify modifier up the stack. Adjust thickness and apply the solidify modifier. I'm gonna rotate the cup from top view in edit mode for the handle. Select this face and extrude in front view. Let's scale it in the Y axis and shift right click to move the cursor to the center area of the handle. Click on the spin tool and change the spin axis to Y. Click and drag the plus sign. Select and delete these two faces and press 2 for edge select. Alt click and shift alt click both edge loops and press Ctrl E to select bridge edge loops. Press 1 for vertex select and press Alt Z for x-ray mode. Let's shape the handle the best we can. Pulling vertices is not the most exciting thing to do in the world, but what can we do? What must be done must be done, right? So hang in there guys. Add two more supporting loops for the handle and increase subsurf level to 3. Looks like we're done with the modeling. Now's the fun part. Go to UV Editing Workspace and select All. We'll just use Blender's auto unwrap function so press U and choose Smart UV Project. I entered 0.03 for the island margin. Let's go to Texture Paint Workspace now. The cup looks purple because it doesn't have the texture yet. It can be a little confusing at first because there's the material texture and the stencil texture to think about. Just think of the material texture as your canvas. You need the canvas to paint on, right? Then on that canvas, you'll be using the stencil texture to kind of stamp whatever you want, in our case, the lovely flower. I've added base color texture, increased the resolution to 2048, turned off alpha and changed the color. Now that we have the canvas, let's add the stencil texture under texture properties. Just click new and open the file.
Go back to brush settings and click on texture. Change mapping to stencil and click on image aspect. You'll see the flower when you hover your mouse over the workspace. It's right click to move, control right click to rotate, and shift right click to scale. When you're satisfied with the scale and position, just brush over to paint. How was the stencil tutorial? Hope you had fun as much as I did. Please subscribe if you enjoyed my tutorial and see you on the next video guys. Thanks.